Well, and this is uh, your news again, Tubby. This this is also my news, and this might be every bit as exciting to the to me as the ZFS expansion. I got in the mail last week the the Pi KVM V3 hardware. I got I got a chance as a as a patron of Pi Pi KVM to pre-order it, and it showed up in the mail last week. Um, here, let's see. Oh, look at that! It's a this is the this is the hat. It goes right on top of the Raspberry Pi. Uh, there were a, there were a few options like this LCD display, and I I just said yes. I mean, I wanted give me I did the shut up shut up and take my money. Pi KVM is an inexpensive I uh, KVM with keyboard, video, mouse over over IP. It runs on a it runs on a Raspberry Pi. There's been several hardware iterations. I, for Christmas for you, and then for me, bought all the hardware for, for them, yep. and have been using it and wrote and blogs about it. And what it lets you do it. is, remotely over the network, either local network or I have mine set up on a VPN so I could do it over the internet, you can connect remotely to a server, and it's as if you're sitting at the keyboard and monitor of that server, so you can... You can reboot it. You can go into the BIOS. You can, you know, change settings, overclock, whatever kind of nonsense you want to do. So if something goes wrong, you don't have to be there. Yeah. There's this. Uh, well, it's this is just all the kit. This is all the hardware. The kit. but there's a PCB in here for the for the ATX power controls. That's nifty. And you can mount. It is nifty. You can mount it. In the back of your PC, it uses RJ45 in a in a PCI slot. So you just you mount that PCB in your in your case, and you wire the the power switch from the case into the PCB, and then the PCB into your motherboard, and then you connect via just a regular network cable back to the Raspberry Pi. Well, the and now if you have the power button accessible now you can actually power the machine on and off if you have to yeah like like pressing the the power button on the machine it's really cool and it it, it adds a you know i think i think the neatest part about it is it adds a a very enterprise grade feature to any computer that you that you want you would want it to be part of um you know, if you wanted to be able to do this and you wanted that built into the motherboard, you would have to buy, you know, the, the top, of the, not the top of the line server, but, but you'd have to buy, you know, enterprise grade hardware in order to find that feature. They don't, they just don't put this on consumer grade motherboards. Yep, and the and inexpensive server grade motherboards that have this sort of hardware built in, like an IPMI interface, they're pretty low end. They're, you know, if you're only spending 400 bucks or so on the motherboard, they're not, you know, it's not like, I, I mean, I could spend four or 500 bucks on some kind of crazy eight or 12 core Ryzen and put it on an $80 motherboard. And yep. You could be spending 400 bucks just for the motherboard and then you got to get a Xeon to put in it. And this is so much exactly less. Ex and you can take the Pi KVM from one machine to another. The IPMI that's built on the motherboard, you're going to throw it away when you upgrade. This is this yeah. is fantastic for us folks yeah, that yeah. do this at home. This is really fantastic. And then you talked about putting a VPN on yours. You know, you can give it you could give it to somebody. I mean you could you could meet somebody for coffee and they say, I'm having a hard time with my computer. Oh here, plug this and in. You say, Well here. And you dig it out of your backpack, take this to your house, plug it into your computer, and let me know when it's up and I'll I'll take a look. Well, my old original hardware, I'm just using, I don't have a hat. I just have a little USB HDMI doodad. This replaces that, yeah. is my understanding, with a more reliable piece yeah, of hardware. Yeah, this replaces that with a more reliable piece of hardware. Yeah, I've, I've been using mine with a KVM switch that is, that is, uh, that the Raspberry Pi can control so that I can, I can hook up. You're essentially splitting one and switch between networked it. KVM into four non into a non-networked KVM to into, daisy chain. Into a non-network. 
Yeah. But that KVM switch, the physical switch, does not like that USB to HDMI adapter very much. And I have all sorts of problems. Basically, anytime I've needed to use my Pi KVM, I've I've gone in there and it's not it's not working, and I have to bypass the KVM switch yeah. and plug it right. Just so everyone into knows, that's a problem that you've kind of created because this doesn't happen to me. I can leave mine plugged in for weeks, and it works. Yeah, it's just something to do with I've, that extra step in there. Yeah, it's my it's my extra complicated stuff. The Pi KVM stuff works all the time. The 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 switch, it's an easy, I don't know how you say it. It's easy COO, and I can't remember the exact model number. And I talked to their tech support a couple times, and they I mean, would basically power everything off and then turn it on in the right sequence. One time I couldn't even get that to happen, and I swapped the USB to HDMI dongles because I've got about four or five of those cheap those cheap ones, but it it's been kind of hard to use. So I'm, I'm hoping this fixes that and I'm, I'm real excited about it. And this, and this means we're going to be able to order I'm, these. Soon. I'm excited. Yeah. In fact, you can pre-order them right now. We'll bury, bury, we'll put, we'll put links in the video description to where you can. Well, on you're on excited. About the but tell us about what you have in your again. hand there. Since it's going to be a whole episode. I, this, this is a, this is a metal case. It's really nice. That's going to fit the hardware. Now, this case is, you can't get this right now. The the ones that are getting pre-ordered right now will come with STL files to 3D print a case. But as as I understand it, in the second the second batch of the Pi KVMs, you'll be able to get the case also. And it's really, I mean, it's a, I don't know what kind of metal this is. I kind of want to print my own case. All right. Or you can order it later with the with the second batch. And it looks like they're out of stock. Are they gonna? Do we? They're they're not on sale yet. Uh, the patrons patrons of Pi KVM got a chance to to or, to pre order them, and we got we got the first batch. As I understand it, they've set up set up arrangements with. I guess distributors would be the best way to call them for the for the Pi KVM, and that that those are being dispatched to the distributors. I don't know what the the supply chain looks like, but but yeah, you can you can pre-order them right now from the the Pi Shop URL awesome. that's down in the video description. I'm super excited too. Toby. I'm super excited about it. It's gonna. It's gonna be it's gonna be my next blog topic probably on BrianCMoses.com. We do. Did we do a good job? Let us know in the comments below. Please also click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and mash the notification bell so you don't miss on upcoming episodes and our monthly live streams on the first Tuesday of every month. If you if you enjoy what Brian and I are up to, there is links in the description below to our pages on Patreon.com. And over on Patreon, you could leave us a dollar or two just to let us know that you appreciate what we're doing. And even the smallest donations, I get excited. It makes me feel like you guys actually care and somebody's interested in watching what we're doing. What do you think, Brian? Yeah, I, I, you hit the nail right on the head. I totally appreciate all of the patrons that we have supporting us. And we also appreciate that you've tuned into this video and hope to see you in our next live stream.